Hey guys, what's going on? We are at graduation. We're at my brother's graduation year 2019. Guys, this is so awesome.
guys, look at all these people. participate on at least 12 state championship teams and earn individual state honors. But this year, you also had members named the IHSA All-State Academic Team, the All-State Scholastic Bowl Team. You had finalists in the National MathWorks Math Modeling Challenge. And one of you even authored a book on baseball history that debuted on Amazon just two weeks ago. Your class has had the highest number of seniors we have had nominated in one class as National Merit Finalists, 63, and the highest number of National Merit Scholars, 10. Significantly, and I want to emphasize this point, your accomplishments are not limited to simply a few of the class. The Board of Education wants as many students as possible to graduate from Stevenson with the college level experience, which includes AP and dual credit and articulated credit classes. Why? Because research shows that students with a college level experience in high school have a significantly higher probability of success in college. You've exceeded all of our expectations. More than 90% of you, 90% are graduating with a college level experience. This number includes special education students that have completed 35 AP courses while at Stevenson and 50 students who earned dual credit for professional certifications from the Lake County Tech Campus. I want you to this. You can't take many of these classes at a lot of high schools. 
unless you're in the top 10% of your class. Yet 90% of you did, and you did it successfully. Basic. Woo! Based on your ACT scores, the average Stevenson graduate this year ranked in the top 18% nationally. That's impressive. But what do these accomplishments really mean? A common piece of advice from some high school and college is that you go out and find your passion. I read an article recently by Stephanie Lee in the New York Times entitled, Why Find Your Passion is Such Terrible Advice. The author notes that very few people ever actually find their passion. The article discusses two fundamental mindsets. The fixed mindset, which says that our interests are relatively fixed and unchanging, and the growth mindset, which suggests that our interests develop over time and are not innate. Researchers cite article found that people with a fixed mindset have less interest in things outside their current interests, they're less likely to anticipate or successfully deal with difficulties, and they lost interest in new things more quickly. People with a growth mindset know their interests develop over time with effort and investment. They characterize failure as a catalyst for change and improvement, and they recognize it can be a healthy part of the process of growth. They enjoy learning more. Apropos is the African proverb. Good evening and welcome, class of 2019. We are incredibly honored to have you here today, including your loved ones and family members. Uh, it is my distinct honor to be the principal of this high school. My name is Troy Gobble, and today I get to uh, introduce the first of our student speakers who will be giving the Scripter Address, which looks back at our four years together. Our speaker today is Sanam Javeri, his parents, Sejal and Nimesh. With our hard work and talent, with the support of our family, friends, faculty, the Board of Education, the class of 2019 became an unforgettable group. Please join me in giving them another round of applause. Allow me to begin with a quote. Thank you very much, Sonny. I would like to invite the se senior choir members to come break the seats over the here tonight. Can I also ask the class of 2019 to please stand for the singing of the alma mater? Woo! And now Alice Simpson will lead the choir in singing the alma mater.
Thank you very much, senior members of the choir. And now we will hear the gubernator address, which will look forward to our future. Today's speaker is Ananya Shah. Her parents are Sharmila and Sachin Shah. Congratulations, class of 2019. It has been an honor and a privilege to learn and grow alongside you for the past four years. I'm so grateful to be speaking for you today. Now, in my time at Stevenson, I've been involved in a lot. But my favorite activity has undoubtedly been being a member of Stevenson's improvisational comedy group. Now, to honor that experience, I will make up the rest of my speech on the spot. Okay. So maybe that's not such a good idea. But what I can tell you is that as we graduate, we're all going to be making things up as we go. The challenges we face will be unlike any others we've encountered. come in the form of college classes or filing taxes for the first time. So, I do know what a mitochondria is, so I'm guessing that knowledge is going to come in handy somewhere. Now, if I could offer you some friendly advice for the years ahead, it would be this. Live your life like you are on an improv troupe. Now, the first rule of improv is to say yes and say and. When you're offered something, a suggestion, advice, an opportunity, say yes and then and. Take what you are given and make it something truly your own. Hey, or as small as you make it. You can set your scene in the supermarket or on Mars. It's up to you, unless you're taking audience suggestions for setting, in which case it is up to them. But if you can pick, Pick Mars, pick Bora Bora and the deep blue sea and go to the edges of the map. You can always make yourself smaller, but it's better to be big. Take that from all five feet of me. And this last one, it isn't a rule so much as it is a guideline. Have fun. We're not on stage forever, so enjoy it while you are. Laugh, laugh, smile, cry if you have to. Understand that it is not about the final bow is about what you did during the show. In the audience right now, there is a doctor who will revolutionize surgery and get name dropped on Grey's Anatomy. There is an artist who will create something that makes a complete stranger feel seen. There is a good Samaritan who will give their umbrella to someone at a bus stop and not realize they made that person's month. There are life savers and affirmers and creators. It's just a matter of saying yes and to the unknown, because we all have that potential in us. So, learn as much as you can. And good evening, for those I haven't met, my name is Eric Trudeau, I'm the superintendent here at Stevenson. And tonight, um, I'd like to echo Mr. Frost's comments and welcome all of you to our commencement ceremony for the Adelaide like Stevenson High School graduating class of 2019. For a number of years, I've had the unique op honor and opportunity to recognize the graduating classes of Stevenson High School for completing what was at the time the most successful year in school history. However, this year and your class has raised an extremely high bar for next year's senior class and for all those who will be coming after you. In addition, uh, collect us forward all the way to today, to them sitting here as high school graduates. Would our parents and grandparents who are in the audience please stand? And students, would you take this opportunity with us to thank them for everything that they've done for you? Thank you, parents. As students of Adelaide Stevenson High School, you benefited from a faculty and staff that represents the very best that American education has to offer. They taught you many different subjects, math and science and social studies and world languages, applied arts and the fine arts. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Before we begin to read the names today, um, I want to recognize a special group of our students 
who uh, were not able to be in attendance today because they are still out participating for Stevenson High School. We have four teams that are actually competing tonight. Volleyball, track, lacrosse, and tennis. And so the senior students from those groups are not able to be here. I'd like to quickly read their names so we can rep. Anad Bakhtatar, Will and Sophie Sorensen, Jenna Chapman, Aiden Gorenberg, Peyton Jagiello, Anastasia Leskatov, Georgia Maskalunas, Erica Spieler, Emily Barshavsky, Helen Yu, Skylar Zelinsky, Zach Kim, Arjun Shilanath, and Ashwa Vishwanathan. That being said, uh, now it is time to present diplomas to our students who are here. We are going to begin with Rami Akurati, Daniel Ahrens, Rebecca Azevedo, Sular Baloch, Noman Bayanbat, Pedro Carmona, Kara Carter, Sora Chandra, Brendan Coburn, Anthony Drag, Kashani Dutta, Jasmine 